origin of 250 gemstones Sit back, relax, and grab some popcorn Well, it all started in the city of Mosul A nice town in the country of Iraq This is 250 capital G 250 gemstones Thank y'all, thank y'all for tuning in Thank y'all, thank y'all for tuning in We're gonna have some fun today Today, 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 we're going to talk about joy. But before I begin, a little bit about me. Very, There's a part of me that's very intellectual, I believe. There's a part of me that's real spiritual. There's a part of me uh, that could be, how y'all say, uh, in your feelings. But the ignorance side is due to my environment growing up. A lot of cussing, a lot of manipulation, a lot of maliciousness, a lot of looking over your shoulders, a lot of depression, a lot of sorrow, a lot of revenge, get back, everything that go against what the Lord calls us to do and conduct ourselves. So that, that part of me, it ain't my fault. I'm letting y'all know, it ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. And it would never leave. I thought as I got older, it leave. The reason I'm bringing this up, you know, I like to just show, I don't believe everybody's one-sided all the time. I think we just, I think we have a natural, um, our natural state. Some people's natural state is just mean. Some people's natural state is just happy. But in order to survive in certain environments, you know, that happy, the person with the happy state has to be a little bit more serious. And vice versa, that person that's always super, super serious, he have to ease up a little bit in a different setting in order to communicate with others and survive in that environment. So I believe, for the most part, if I have a natural state, we switch up. And it's not being phony, it's just, I think it's just a level of maturity. <clears throat> and again, the reason I'm bringing all this up because I wanted to show that you know, you can communicate in different ways because so many people come in all different walks in life. But things are universal that can be across the board. Of course, it'd be like respect, patience, you know, um, the basics, basic fundamentals, truth. These things go across the board, but it's how you do it. I think that's one of the things I struggle with, especially with, with my channel, because I was trying to figure out what's the best way to communicate with the masses and what's the overall goal. And my only goal was just to make music and make videos that help people get through their day because I know how hard it is out there. So the first part of the video, we're going to turn up. And the second part, we're going to turn down. But both will have high energy. Okay, okay. So what I'm going to talk about today is joy, joy. Don't let anyone, anyone take your joy. Anyone, 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 not even yourself, not even the person in the mirror. Once you find joy, I'm talking, see joy and happiness is two different things. Happiness comes and go is based off conditions. Joy is unconditional. If you, when you're a joyful person, no matter if you got a million dollars in a bank account or you only got a penny, you're joyful. You're still cheerful. You're still optimistic. You're still positive. You still have that mindset that nothing's going to bring you down because you have that joy. It's a, a foundation in your spirit. It's a foundation in your emotion, in your heart. And joy is very 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 scarce these days now of course i'm just basing off what we see on the media but a lot of this stuff there's a lot of truth that's going on out there because it's documented it's a lot of stuff you know that we see is not real but just human to human contact you know a good handful of people just don't have joy they have happiness in I was one of those people that was fortunate enough to have joy. You know, when when you down and out, when you alone, 
when you're going through your trials and tribulations. Joy is one of those major things that will get you through. You know, because when certain things, when you're facing against certain things, it pulls you out of your element. And some people, when they pull out their element, you know, let's say uh, you do have the joy, but you pull that element when you were in a, a time in your life is just sorry, probably lost a family member or some catastrophic happened or something you just you just going through. Some people just getting our feelings. We just, you know, just not feeling right. Their identity begin to change. That's why when you see people, they, oh, man, you, you don't look like yourself. You don't look like yourself. You're right. When they say you don't look like yourself, they're saying your identity is something. You don't carry yourself the same. You ain't walking the same. You're not talking the same. So joy, joy, joy is something that's everlasting. It's forever. Joy is forever. It's a, it's an energy. It's a light that comes from the man upstairs. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying. So once you have joy, and how do you know you have joy? It's a. Well, for me, it's something that can't be broken. It's a. It's just something that's in you that keeps you alive. It's cheerfulness. It's uh, like I said, it's positivity. It's uh, accepting challenges. It's it's the highest level. The highest, highest level. Of bringing humanity together, joy. You ever just walk around? Now we probably get a little ignorant. So that's just my take. How I believe. Well, I know I have joy in my heart. It's just uh, it's it'll change your life. You just always, no matter nothing can break you, nothing can stop you, nothing can bring you down. Now it's not gonna be like that every day for me. It's not like that every day. I have my moments, but it's always having positive thoughts. Always just, and it's not just about me. It's about pushing that, uh, pushing this on to other people around me is contagious so when you have joy and you have this abundance of energy don't waste it you know uplifting people um doing for others bringing other people out of their element and giving them a spark and inspiration because a lot of people walk around with darkness you know what i mean so i got the joy i got the joy now here we're about to get a little bit ignorant. Stay with me. I know it'll be seven minutes in. I want to take up all your time. Don't let any mofo take away your joy. You have to protect your joy. Protect your joy. Protect your joy. If you are an optimistic person and you out there handling your goddamn business, you walking with confidence. It's like you're walking on motherfucking clouds. It's like you're smiling. You're shaking things up. You just breaking the goddamn mold. Don't let no crusty, busted ass motherfucker come around your territory and try to shake that shit down. Uh, uh, uh. Not on my watch. Not on my watch, nigga. No, 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 no. Because it's easy. See, a lot of people took a lot of life experiences to get to that point where they have joy. All the heartbreaks, all the headaches, all the trials and tribulations. They finally get to the point, you know what? Life is hard. Life is hard, motherfucker, and it's only going to get harder. So you know what? I'm going to be happy. Before I leave this bitch, I'm going to get the most out of life. I am not going to let no motherfucker stop me. I ain't going to let no... Now I'm black. I don't know if y'all know this. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black in America. <laughs> I ain't going to let no nigga stop me in my hood. I ain't going to let no fucking white boy stop me. I ain't going to let the powers that be stop me. When you have joy... When you have joy, that real joy, you can't not be stopped. And what I learned too, when you got that joy, it's only going to magnify as you begin uh, get older, you get more wisdom, you get more experience. Joy, joy, joy. Oh yeah, it's everlasting. So you got to protect that joy. And not protect my motherfucking joy by looking at things. If I know you a person, you just doomed. Now, some people, if they're just gloomy, they're just gloomy, just going through a rough past you're a good person. Like I said, people go through stuff. Get that joy to them. You know what I mean? That's the I grow. Pass my joy, but I ain't going to let you absorb my joy and bring me down to where I don't have none. It ain't going to happen. Protect your joy. Protect your joy. I'm going to protect mine. 
You got a person to try to stop you from shining, stop you from being a good mother, stop you from being a good father, stop you from having what you want in life. If you something, not everybody want money. If you're a person, you have a good heart, you want to pass it on to your lineage, to your kids. That's your calling. You ain't got to compare yourself to no other person that, you know, wants to be a multimillionaire, billionaire. Some people in this life, their whole world is wrapped around money. Some people life is wrapped around um, family. Some people's life is wrapped around their own selves, their self-absorbed. Everybody has their own ambitions and goals in life. But if you have joy, you cannot let anybody bring you down. You can't even let, let anybody take you out of your element. You can't do it. And you shouldn't do it. Why well, I'm gonna bring my motherfucking self down? Cause you feel low. You have an inferior mindset. You have a slave mentality. Especially growing up in in what we call the hood or the ghettos. I saw the game. If you are a person, a black person, uh with joy, you know what I'm saying? If you a black person, because what they told black men, you have to be angry all the goddamn time. You have to be miserable. You have to be a uh, slave minded, inferior. You have to be a victim, pitiful, bum. That's what being black in America is. You take pride in being at the bottom of the fucking totem pole. So when all the, you got the hundreds and thousands of these aggressive young black males, <clears throat> or just black males in general, with this mindset, what you think is going to happen? Then you got a motherfucker that has me. I always been like that. That's I just love people. I just love turning up. Love having fun. I always had the girls. I always had uh uh. Well, my confidence level was way higher now, but back then, you know, I had a little confidence enough to get me through. But when you a person that has that light, that glow, that joy, you just walk around. The girls are looking at you. Yeah, people looking up to you because you the cool dude. You the one that come to advice. You the you the one that's level headed. Motherfuckers gonna hate on you, hate, because they've been taught that this is not how black people supposed to act. They supposed to be angry, like I said, pitiful, feeling sorry for themselves, look for reasons to be a victim. I never had that mentality. You know, it came from my grandmother. They said, whatever you want to do in this life, do it. So my family, maybe, like I said, maybe it's the households, but that joy was with me early. I just didn't understand that with this joy, being a man, being a grown man, being a grown woman, we have to pay a price on everything. So video getting a little long. I just want to say, if you guys have a joy, you know what I'm talking about. You're upbeat, you're up, everything's up, 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 up. Always creative, always trying to get the most out of each second, out of each life. Because once we leave, now we're about to turn down. Once we leave here, there is no coming back. Once we leave, there is no coming back. One more time. Once we leave, there is no coming back. So let's make the most out of your life. You know, I'm going to make the most out of mine. I hope that whoever's listening, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, comment. But whoever's listening, my fans, get the most out of life. Pick yourself up. Get right with the man upstairs. Be careful who you hang out with. And understand with joy or <clears throat> I just say I stick on joy for now with joy. When you are upbeat person, prepare to pay. I'm sorry. Prepare to pay the price. Peter Piper, pick a pepper. <laughs> prepare to pay the price because a lot of people going to love you. And they're going to be leaning on you. You have to pay that price. Now people coming to you. You got to carry that burden. But it's OK because. When you are joyful, it's not really a burden because you eventually you're going to have to leave this joy for some for someone else. Because, like I said, we're going to leave here one day. So leave that joy for somebody else. But there are going to be people that be leaning on, leaning on you, adore you. And there's going to be people that have ill will towards you because of that joy, because of that light, because you shine it. 
Look over your shoulders. Protect yourself. Protect your joy. Manifest. And get the most before you leave.